nice. Ball Good player move. You got ball. me. I'm like, ah, ah, twice, too. What's up, buddy? Not much. How you're you doing? so likable. <laughs> I you, caught that thing, that son of a bitch Ed, which as people me. don't know, that's what they wanted to call the show off the top. Son of a bitch that, Ed. That son of a bitch Ed. Yeah. It, it never caught on. Maybe something, maybe you got, got different demos if you've done that. Maybe, <laughs> you, you know. Think? But you guys did some crazy things. You had sure strippers we on. We, <laughs> what? How do you know about that? Yeah, I heard strippers. we had Julie Bowen on. Oh, and, right. And, and She'll always tell you about the strippers. Yeah, that's right. I don't even know if it was um, part of the show or not, but she no, was No, it talking. was part of the okay. show. Easy. <laughs> no, it was part of the show. We had, uh, you know, we were getting married in the, in the, you and Jules. In the episode. Jules and I were getting married, uh, which is the difference between TV and, you know, guys like real life guys um, yeah we're gonna get to that we're gonna talk about your bachelorhood in the why don't moment we talk about you actually well maybe why don't we, we will switch the thing around and i talk about myself four <laughs> nights a week why do you, okay. you know right. let's focus on all right okay so we're at the so meanwhile back at the bachelor party yeah. we're at the bachelor party and they they bring these uh you know two strippers in and they're strippers yeah. you know they're dressed as cops these know, are female or male strippers because she was talking about male strippers you're, you're talking about your oh, your bachelor party i got it i'm, I'm with you okay Thanks, My bad. Greg. They were female strippers. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, it was an 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock show. Yeah. So, um, anyway, they, they come in, you know, and uh, it's a very weird thing where, you know, you're, you're doing a scene and the strippers, and they're, they're legitimate strippers. We find this out. Like, These are pros. Yeah, they have the cards. A card carrying membership in the stripper club. Yeah. There, there's such a thing. I don't know that. Okay, it sounds good. <laughs> oh, just, it does sound good. Didn't yeah. It? yeah, here, see, legit. The, you know, they're legitimate these strippers. These days, they have to identify for everything, so they had their they had their stripper cards. Yeah. And you know, so they're doing the thing, and they're coming. They come in dressed as cops. We're doing that thing. You know, knock, knock, knock. You have the right to remain sexy. Oh, this they're <laughs> we're, they're, yeah. they're from yeah. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. but well, they have accents. You know, I don't, I don't know. know how. So anyway, so so then there's a thing where like you know they're just, you know, you do the scene. You know, the cameras are rolling and they're grinding away and. Yeah. Everything's fine, you know, you're acting, and then they yell cut, and then they're gonna set the shot up, and then you kind of have to make conversation. Like, How does that like, go? How it's just kind of basically like, so, uh, you studying anything? Yeah. And, <laughs> and as it turns out, they were both, uh, Putting themselves through school. MBA and yeah. med school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good question. Go figure. Yeah. Very intuitive on your part. Yeah. And that was it. Well, what do you when you what else do you say to strippers? I mean, what, I mean, how does, why don't you tell me? I, this is a dangerous area of thought, a co conversation here. I think. What oh, do you say to strippers? You should have that as one of your like I went through a, elements. I what? went through a, a, a I went through a stage after I got out of ESPN and I went for like two months in, in New York and then I got it out of my system. Yeah. But uh, what would I say to them? I, do I have to pay twenty bucks for a lap dance? I mean, I was like, <laughs> I was trying to make a deal. Maybe no, you can't really have any like. There's, what are you going to say? There's no light conversation. So you. Uh, so you're a dancer, which is what you call them. So you're a dancer, yeah. Yeah, they're dancers, right. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so how's that? Great. Yeah. You're beautiful. I, I, don't know, I don't know what to That's say. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's an yeah. awkward situation. We're pretty lame that way. That's exactly right. But let's talk about your, your real life, if you don't mind. I don't mind. You're single. You, you're <laughs> a young kid. <laughs> Coming off a huge series. You're very successful. It's very nice of you to say a huge series. Very kind Just of you. Just trying to be Generous. nice. Generous. Yeah, <laughs> and how, how do you find how do you find the dating world you know um i'm part of the groucho marx club that you know i'm very suspicious of any any club that would have me as a member you know yeah. so if any girl wants to date me i'm you know i'm like really yeah and you know you don't really want to date anyone because you're on tv obviously. you want them to like you right for you <clears throat> for asking good questions thank you yeah thank you very much <laughs> exactly you know so i went on you know I went on a date once, and you know, we the, the lady claimed to not not know uh, anything about pop culture, and you know, what do you, what do you do? She asked me. I said, I'm an actor. She's like, Oh, I don't know any actors. You know, I don't watch any. Uh -huh. oh, well, that's good. You know, that's fine. So we're out on at uh, dinner, and she's she orders, and she's like, And what would you like, Ed? <laughs> oh, you busted her. Yeah. Yeah. W what did you say? I was like, Check, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll take the check. Yeah. yeah. So you you don't uh, what you date normal? Do you date actresses? You date non-industry people? What do you date? Non-industry people. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Who do you date? Okay, we're done now with Good. that topic. <laughs> now, I thought you were from Canada. I am from Canada. But you, you, uh, but you, grew, you spent time growing up in Africa? Yes. Yes, I did spend time growing up in Africa. Yes, yeah. I did. I did. How did that go? Well, it was... Uh, it was good, you know, it was different. You, you run into certain things that you probably wouldn't run into in uh, most areas of North America or yeah. Canada, you know. Um, I, to this day, have a... You know, there's this thing where people call something an irrational fear of yeah. sharks, things. Well, I have a, what I believe is a rational fear. I think there of, should be a of term. Of snakes. Yeah. It should be a rational fear, shouldn't it's it? It's okay to a, be afraid of snakes. I don't have an irrational fear of snakes. It's okay to cry. I have a rational fear. Yeah, yeah that was good. I that cry. Good. 
Savage, hey, was, Savage kind of knocked it out of the park there. Yeah, he, he's he good, did a good job. He? Yeah, he is very We're good. going to have you on doing that sometime. I would, sometime. Love, I would love to do that. Because the last time you were here, you did that press conference. Yeah, at the, the press end. conference thing was very good. You were very good. You showed your acting skills. Thanks. It was really huge. <laughs> okay, back to the snake story. Here we go. So, meanwhile, at the snake story. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, back at the snake story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. So, we're, so, I'm there, you know, and I'm playing in the underbrush beside our house in Africa, and uh, you know, my mother hauls out, get out of the underbrush. You know, there's snakes there. I'm like, snakes, what? Yeah. You know? And then, so I'm back in the house a few minutes later, and I'm just kind of in this window looking out over the uh, underbrush, and these three African natives, they go in there, and they have these machetes and these long robes. They go in there. They're in there for, I swear, Craig, five seconds, hacking away. And they pull out these three 12-foot-long, milky-white, deadly-looking puff adders, which, as you know... Puff asses? What? Puff adders? <laughs> puff adders. Puff adders? Uh-huh. Adders? Yeah. And uh, they are... Uh, it was easy, right? But we all laughed, you know? Yeah, hey, Craig said asses. You know? We got, we got, <laughs> good. We got the JC fans here. Yeah. I have to get them. Yeah. Yeah. I have to keep the JC fans interested. Yeah. Right. JC will be out shortly. I'm almost yeah. 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 So, uh, so they pull out these, you know, these puff adders, and they're just the second most po poisonous snake in the world. So I was like that guy from, you remember Apocalypse Now? Yeah. Stay in the boat. Don't yeah. go in the boat. Yeah. I was me. Like, I was like, don't go in the underbrush. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I think snakes... Snakes are I'm scared. You remember Indiana Jones with the, the snakes? Yeah, I'll oh. tell you what I think I'm more afraid of than snakes. The snakes bother me, but I don't... I don't my know. defense? My jump shot? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like rats. <laughs> Who does? See? No, but I, I mean. Oh, you mean like the animal? Like if I have a rat, if I have a rat in a rat trap. <laughs> I have a rat in a rat trap. Go on. I'm probably not going to remove it. I'm going to have somebody come in my house. I don't want to do it. I'll I'm lazy that way. I'll remove the rat. So you wouldn't mind <laughs> doing that? I remove I'll the rat. I'll pick up a dead snake. Rats I'm not don't. Gonna... Rats don't scare me. You know, I live in New York City. You know, they're the size of cats. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's kind of fine. You know, but the snakes. No, I don't. I can't. You're a man. It. Someone's going to capture your heart, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. Five questions. We come back and talk about it. That's good stuff. Last, I like this, last time, you didn't have a computer. That's right, still don't. Because you're cool yeah. that way. I'm not cool. You're not selling out. I'm always embarrassed by that. That's not, that's not, that's no, nothing to hang your hat Some on. Some lady you know? is going to find that charming. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> so you're out of touch. They're going to find that charming. Now, do you have a cell phone? Uh, do I have uh, a, no. No. You don't have a cell phone. No, no, that's why I never return your calls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a, yeah, that's why. Do you have a car? Uh, yeah, thanks. I, <laughs> thanks. No, I do have a car. Thanks very much. Yes, what about a, a credit card? Um, where are we going? I don't know. I just want to see. I want to see. Kill Warren and Kavanaugh in Mexico. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you should get a cell phone. You think? Yeah. Here's what I do, and you know, I have answer machines, and you know, in, in uh, on like two places. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of feel like one more piece of technology isn't going to help me. And the other thing is, when you know, people get annoyed with me. What I found works really well, and this yeah. can, this can go clear across the board with, with this kind of philosophy. If someone gets annoyed with you, you just say, you know what, that's right, I'm going to get one. And then you just go out and do what you want. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. So it's you, like you anything. Mean, anything. You no, you know what, I'm going to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, and then that's you know. a good thing. Yeah. You're saying it works with, end, you know, when end, you're, end the conversation. If you're acting, you know, yeah. and someone's directing you, yeah. they're like, do it this way. Awesome. Yeah. You know? <laughs> did I tell you what I do? This is, I, <laughs> that's a good thing to do. It get is, right? Here's my thing that I like to do with this people. This is going to be good. No, no, it's not, that, it's not that great. But you see people out, and they might not do the show, or they might think, oh, he's a jerk, or does he like me? Because all these people are insecure, right? All these actors and stuff. Just diffuse it by saying, hey, big fan. <laughs> huge, huge fan of yours. And they go, oh, my God. <laughs> You, right? Love you on edge. I was gonna remember as I walked out here. That's what he said. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> that's good stuff. Let's, uh, time for five questions. <laughs> geography. Geography. Oh God. Match game geography. Blank dry. Canada dry. Don't say it out loud. Think of a snack food to munch on. Think of a snack food to munch on. Do you have it? Sure, I do. Okay, now think of a second one, Tom. Okay. Do you have that? Yeah, I do. Now a third. Okay. What is your third one? Chips. Oh, we're going to accept that. Tortilla chips or peanuts? 
We had potato chips, pretzels, and now we're, we're going to accept that chip thing. Thank you. Thing, Thank, okay? you. Thank you. All right, Jennifer. Last w. night on the show, 311 performed. Yeah. Music group. I want you to name three other bands with numbers in their name. <laughs> this is tough. This is not easy. Blink-182. That's one. That's guy. That's nice. <clears throat> A band I think you like, the Three Dog, three dog Nights. The Three Dog Nights? Or three dog, yeah, Three Dog Nights. Yeah, that's right. And, um... No help from the audience, please. And, no? uh, the Four Tops. That's right! Right, right. Very nice. <laughs> You're welcome. And number four, uh, the category is bowling. Because you would, you would bowl. Yes, sir. Mr. Edward Bowl. Yeah. In less than 10 seconds, clearly explain how to score a spare. Slash. Huh? Right, right across the thing. Is that... Yeah. 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 I thought they wanted it. I thought you had to... No, 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 no. Finally, I, I remember, you've been here a number of times, you're always making outrageous bets on, on eating things. Yes. Okay? There is an unwrapped... This is not going to go well. There's an unwrapped peanut butter and jelly sandwich under your seat cushion. <laughs> Will you eat it for four... Oh, boy, we're going big time now. 20 bucks. <laughs> seat cushion. Sandwich under your seat cushion. 20 bucks. There it is. Get a shot of that. Make sure they see it. Put it right here. I want them to see that. There it is, right there. This is on the seat cushion. <laughs> so, Tom, this is, again, some women will find this endearing if you do this. One time, one time I was trying to buy a jacket from this old guy in New York. Yeah. <clears throat> right, and I made him an offer, you know, for the jacket, and he said to me, keep your money, I'll keep my coat. Is that your answer? Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Thank you. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Great, Great to see you again. Place is mine. All right, Tom Cavanaugh, who do I talk about?